Well, the dangerous heat isn't keeping people away from the beach. You can see a few umbrellas lined up on the sand in this live look. I imagine the ocean may feel refreshing on a day like today, but that burning sand, not so much. Set on your sides, Lauren Moss joins us live to tell us how people are enjoying the ocean front today. Lauren. Well, Amy, you can just feel the sun beating down on you, and I know that I'm hot out here, and behind me, this sand is also extremely hot. The deputy chief of Virginia Beach Life Saving Services told me that at one point today, they clocked the sand at 140 degrees. So if you come out here, it's a good reminder to keep your shoes on until you get farther down the beach, bring some shade, an umbrella, and some water. It's hot and humid, and the slight breeze isn't cutting the high temperatures. <laughs> this is pretty extreme. It's heat Ed Chesley and his family haven't experienced. Oh my goodness, uh, West Virginia is hot, but not this hot. Okay. <laughs> In this type of heat, it's ideal to have plenty of liquids on hand and keep yourself under an umbrella. Drink lots of fluids, stay in the shade, take lots of dips, um, don't overexert yourself, and do whatever, whatever you can to keep cool. That's the advice from Deputy Chief of Virginia Beach Life Saving Services. If you're looking to be on the sand, you can even see lifeguards staying under the shade, drinking lots of water and keeping an eye out. We um, usually have more heat related medical calls on weekends like this. To keep everyone safe, Chesley and his family are hiding from the sun's rays. Basically, we're looking for shade and breeze. <laughs> so right here, we seem to have it. And if you're looking to be outside this weekend, it's important to understand the signs of heat exhaustion. I'll lay those out to you coming up at 6. In Virginia Beach, I'm Lauren Moss, 10 on your side.